For every spider lost in this great big world, there is a warm place with friendly room service, delicious food, and a warm place to stay the night. This is Spider Bed and Breakfast. Bathaniana Utahensis. You guys are probably not as excited about this episode as I am, but I have loved crab spiders for the longest time, and I was super happy to finally find one. There's that beautiful takedown. You can see how it drags it into its mouth with its claws, just like a crab would. And I just put this here because you can see how flat this spider is. They will flatten themselves up against bark, or this one was flattened up against some bricks on my apartment building, and that's how they camouflage themselves. And then they wait for the prey to come near them, grab them with those long front arms, and pull them towards their mouth. Crab spiders are amazing. Their camouflage is something that has fascinated scientists for a really long time, and the way they look un almost uncannily like a crab is amazing. Um, here's a look at their eye structure. You can see how their eyes fan out on the top of their head, just like a crab's do. That's just one of the ways that these things are related to crabs. Um, as it goes down, you can see that it is dangling by a web. That is one of the classifications to be a spider. That's literally one of the only classifications for a spider is it has to have eight legs and webbing. But I learned a lot about these guys when I read Predator Upon a Flower by Douglas Morse. Um, he was a professor at Harvard, and it's an amazing book about camouflage, particularly with golden rob crab spiders, but it let me know a lot about just crab spiders in general. I loved catching this little guy. I wish I had a better camera to get better close-ups, but at the end of the day, we had to let him go like always. And yeah, you can see just how beautiful this spider is, and it's another example of how diverse spiders can be no matter where you live. It's always sad to see him go, but bye! Oh, I love that little wave. But you can always find new friends to take care of, and spider bed and breakfast is just beginning. This guy was kind of a benchmark for me because I love these guys, but we're just getting started. Make sure you guys subscribe for more 8-Legged Cuteness Weekly. Check out our Facebook if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!